Guys, we're live. live. We're live. Welcome, Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tie and Gig Bills. Today, we're going to show you how to set up a high quality camera on the Raspberry Pi. Builds. Today we're gonna go over setting up the high quality camera on the Raspberry Pi. I found it mildly confusing on how to set it up, so I decided, hey, you know what, let's make a video about it. It's what we do here at the Build Studio. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4. You can use a 0, a 3B, a 4, anything that has that camera input. Not a Pico at the moment. You'll notice is I have two boxes here as well. I have the camera itself, and then I have a lens. Uh, the, the beauty of the high quality camera, it's high quality. The, you know, the setback is that you have to pay for lenses separately. I'm using a six millimeter lens and today we're going to be setting that up with the high quality camera. All right, the first thing you'll notice is in the high quality camera, when you open it up, you'll get the camera itself with a nice little lens protector. And then you'll get a little packet here with this tiny screw made for elves. And we'll go over what this is used for later. Now let's open up this lens. You can see in the lens, there should be a lens here with two caps, one in the back, and this back part will connect to the camera itself, and then one in the front, which is actually gonna be what you're able to you know, see, the light is gonna enter. It has two screws, which control the aperture of the lens and also the distance of the lens from the camera itself, which we'll tell you how to focus it. So the first thing we'll do is we're gonna attach the lens to the camera itself. Uh, it's fairly easy, you just have this little cap that screws in, so you unscrew that cap, you'll have this. Now I'm using a six millimeter lens, so I don't need this extra part here. You may need that depending on the millimeter lens you're using, but for six, uh, and this is probably the most confusing part for the six one, you don't need this. It took me about an hour to figure that out. So if you're using a six, get rid of this little thing. Just get rid of it. Once you get rid of that, you'll see the actual back of the camera there. That's the camera itself. Uh, so we need to attach the lens and screws into this center part here. You take the cap off right here, and then this is the part where we'll screw in the camera. And it screws in nice and good. After you screw it in, you can take the cap off. And from there, you have a working camera. We're gonna freehand this camera, but there's actually a spot in the bottom where you can put a tripod in. Um, it's a really nice handy thing in case you want to kind of set it on the table, but just for the purposes of setting up the camera, we'll set this up freehand. Once this is all nice and good like this, we're just gonna hook this up with the Raspberry Pi 4. Should be nice and easy. We're just gonna take this little screwdriver made for mini hands and we're just gonna go in here and pop this black thing off and it kind of just peels back a little bit like a door hinge. We're just gonna connect the camera now to that camera port. We're gonna connect the, the metal connectors you know, that are crossed on the blue side, we're gonna connect those facing the white section of the camera port. Once that's in, you just need to click it into place and it's locked in. Thing I would mention is that the same exact attachments on the back of the camera and I would just be aware of that because I think this thing came janky with me so I had to open it up and realign it and then and close it up. So I just be aware the back also might need to be adjusted for you. Once it's in there you can start taking photos and we'll get to the program to use and how to take photos and videos but for now we're going to go into adjusting the focus and things like that because I found that was probably the most difficult part. The program was the easiest. To actually adjust the camera you have a few options. You have the first one, which is right here, the open and close the lens. Now, the more open it is, the more light that comes through, and the more closed it is, the less light. Um, so you'll have to adjust that based on the look you want. To adjust it, you just need to loosen the screw with your hand, just run it left a little bit, and then that'll give you free room to just open and close this at will. And then you kind of set the setting that you want, and then tighten it as you will, and then it's locked into place and you can't move it anymore. The second setting you can adjust with these things, and this is, this is uh, where you have to play with this little back part possibly, is how far and away the lens is from the back of the camera. Now, this is gonna set your focus, so if you get a really blurry image, this is kind of where you wanna do uh, the, the fine adjustment. So, just loosen up that screw as needed in, in the near and far section, and then move up and down like that. You could turn it as much as you want to get it as far or close to the camera lens, to the back of the camera as you'd like, and then lock that into place. The last section which you, which you might need to touch, which requires this little mini tool, is the top here. If you loosen that top part off of the screw, the actual back of this can even 
go further and actually distance itself even further from the back of the camera. So if you need even further adjustment, it can do that as well. So you just gotta loosen it up. Once it's loosened up, it takes a little jimmying, but you could loosen it up. And then once you get the right kind of distance, you just go back in with the screw and tighten that thing right up. Now that we kind of went over how to adjust the camera, let's try to get a good shot and you'll kind of see me adjust and then we'll kind of review kind of how the pictures went and what I kind of think of the overall camera and lens. So the first thing you'll want to do is open up Raspberry Config. It's in this uh, menu in the top left, Preferences, Raspberry Pi Config. This is going to load your interfaces. You just want to make sure your camera's enabled. I already have mine enabled, but if you didn't, you'd have to make sure that was set up correctly and then reboot. After that, you can actually take a picture by just issuing the command raspy still dash o and then the name of the file you want it'll output it to that directory you're in and we're not actually going to take the picture because we need to actually set up the camera in focus before we can do that so before we take that picture let's go and preview the screen just so we can just kind of set the focus to the camera correctly it's raspy sill dash t and then zero and then as you can see there i'm setting up the camera it's blurry so to adjust the focus i'm turning the far section of the toggle of the lens and getting the lens a little further from the back of the camera and I like the brightness here so I'm not going to adjust how open and close the lens is. So now all you need to do to take a picture is control C and then this issue the command raspy fill dash O in the file name. Here's some b-roll from the actual camera that we have and some shots we got. As you can see it's surprisingly well for Raspberry Pi for how small it is. Um, I mean then again it's a pretty expensive camera for the quality you get. Well, I do like that you can kind of focus and blur certain things. You actually can do some cinematic shots or just some better shots than you usually can especially with the module v2 when you compare it to that. Definitely impressed. Could definitely use this for a lot of cool projects moving forward which we plan on doing. It's kind of cool they have these attachments with the tripod. You can kind of hook it up to the tripod itself uh, and then also it's amazing the qual. It really is amazing the quality you can get with this little Raspberry Pi thing. You get the fickle with the the actual, you know, the the, the aperture and things like that. But once you get that down to what you want, um, it can definitely be used for like time lapses or just you know actually camera shots, things like that. Well, guys, I know this was a quick build this week, but next week we're actually going to incorporate this for a bigger and more high tech build. So stay tuned. Builds. Builds. Builds.